my journey like every uh, child from a middle class family from the school days i had the liking for mathematics and science that that something subject which i used to be interested uh, maybe the mathematics teacher or somebody would have really influence so which made us the feel that we should do something in uh, mathematics or science so i was knowing about the engineering field where some of my cousins have joined that is how i in school days i used to say without knowing much about engineering or engineer i used to say i want to be a engineer but that uh, in the back of the mind with that i got admission to the government engineering college trichu did my btech engineering in electrical there were few uh, subjects given as electives from electronics field electronics field was just building up where in which i took some subjects like uh, specific to electronics and uh, radar communications so i happened to learn that part and then uh, drdo sponsored m mtech course was uh, advertised in paper uh, we were 10 students were selected all over the country i was one among the 10 uh, selected for this course and the course was for an mtech degree in guided missiles to be frank i was not not knowing much about anything about missile or missile guidance so but when then joined for that course and after the course i was to join drdo as a scientist and gone to hyderabad lab where dr apj abdul kalam was the director he being the mentor director of uh, we we youngsters we were fortunate to have a real teacher if you know about dr kalam he has been an inspirational motivational i don't i don't have any words any profession any professional words you take everything suits dr kalam and you all know when we he was president he has interacted with many school college and all so all the children knows how he was and starting career with uh, him as a director we all were feeling so much committed and dedicated to our profession and that is how started working some of the times because they are, we are all working for systems which is not country denied in the country and working for a nuclear class of missiles first time development in the country it had lot of uh, challenges failures but these are all uh, in his in our mentors words these are all the opportunities to towards success so i think uh, these are the things which will make us change today what we need is some uh, mind commitment and an in, intuitive nature so whatever comes i am ready to take up the confidence in you like if you see a woman any achiever she is passionate to her job she is uh, trustworthy committed dedicated and uh, all the qualities decision makers you see any of the qualities what you look in a leader is there imbibed in the women only a point of it is which we differ from individual to individual is something called emotional intelligence naturally we are born with the brain so we all have the natural intelligence emotional intelligence is something which to tackle in a situation of difficulty in an appropriate way when the person is there in front of you and how a situation of difficulty or a failure comes how do we cope up with that that emotional intelligence is something which we need to acquire or be with with the system be with the environment be with the people and then you'll come to know how to deal with that if that uh, part of the factor is in you then you are really an empowered woman so this is something what we have to be strong and determined in our mind then we can turn 
the whole world and today uh, a startup mission for women coming up first time in uh, all over the south asia from kerala it's something amazing and i must salute all of you to be part of this and giving a glory to this kerala and the whole uh, women fraternity once again congratulations to all of you for being a part of this and i again uh, thank all the uh, executives who have thought of uh, giving me this recognition and let this strong feeling of uh, motivating encouraging and uh, empowering women let it go ahead and ahead and let the world see what wonders can be done by women fraternity thank you